Hi lovely and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Jack Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing A Very Merry Christmas by Kathy Lamb. This is a novella, it is a holiday story. It follows Meredith, who owns this bed and breakfast in Montana, and she already has so much on her plate going into the holidays. She has the bed and breakfast which she runs. She's also a chef at the little cafe in it, and she has her niece and nephew to take care of. Her sister has left and abandoned her kids, and so Meredith is taking care of two teenagers. So when the story starts off, she's already pretty busy, and then she gets landed with the job of directing the big Christmas pageant in town. Not only is this like a big community event that everybody in the town is invested in, but also it's a huge tourist draw, so the economy of the town depends on this Christmas pageant going well. So no pressure there. And then this is also a romance story as she has Logan, one of the the cowboys in town, courting her, which she doesn't want. And she keeps trying to tell Logan, yo, I, I can't deal with anything else right now. We can't go out. You don't want me. I'm not a good girlfriend. But he keeps courting her anyway. So this story is entirely narrated from Meredith's perspective. And we first meet her as she's at a bar and she's just trying to unwind and have a drink with her friends. But the city guy comes up and starts flirting with her. And she's like, yo, not having it. The guy doesn't take no for an answer. He eventually crosses the line and actually touches her and starts playing with her hair. So she resorts to punching him and knocking him out. And almost starting a brawl in the entire bar between this guy and his four friends. And, like, all the city that wants to help and stand up for Meredith. One of the guys that stands up for Meredith is Logan, who is this cocky businessman. He is a cowboy, and Meredith's already got a crush on him. And he tries to help, but Meredith doesn't want it. They have this weird kerfuffle thing happening where the guys eventually leave, partly because of Meredith and also partly because of Logan. And now Meredith kind of resents Logan, and it's an interesting dynamic to their relationship. As Meredith is trying to be tough and self-sufficient and can do everything on her own and she doesn't need help. But at the same time, she's got all this stuff happening and actually she kind of could have used some help. She just doesn't want to admit it. And <laughs> Logan's an interesting character because he is just as brash. He is just as opinionated as Meredith is and is bossy and is self-sufficient. And he wants to be the provider and take care of her. And also he's rich, which kind of doesn't hurt, and has this big ranch, and they both like the same things, like fly fishing and horseback riding. Like, on paper they line up perfectly, and basically the entire town also ships them. I'm a little bit torn on this relationship because Meredith repeatedly tells him no. And although we as readers know that she actually does like him because she's constantly talking about these fantas fantasies she has about him, and talking about how handsome he is, um, and how she just thinks he's out of her league, and she's pretty sure he's going to break her heart. So she's trying to push him away. But then Logan doesn't isn't privy to her private thoughts, and so it's a little bit weird that he keeps pushing. And a little bit outside my comfort zone for that kind of relationship, where if the girl tells you no, man, it's no. The plot-wise and character-wise, this book is okay. It would have been a three-star read. Except that the writing in this is so bad. It's really bad. Um, she is constantly fantasizing about Logan and food, which is okay is a little bit weird, but she does it all the time. Like, every time she sees Logan, there's a new food reference. And since most of this is following her and Logan's relationship, there are a lot of strange food references. Like, she pictures him with pink cakes floating around his head. I'm like, what does that why? And this this one paragraph in here just like killed it for me. Like, why am I reading this? So the line goes, he tried to draw a flower. The flower looked like it had been strangled by a black spider. And then quotation marks, because she's talking in the next bit. A nice flower. It looks like it was strangled by a black spider. That's literally the next sentence. Why did you need to tell the readers twice that it looked like it was strangled by a black spider? Like, you could have just put it in wording that she talks to Logan. I don't understand. Also, I don't know what it means that it looks like it was strangled by a black spider. Like, your illusions should make sense to the reader. And there are a bunch of things in here where things are just awkwardly worded. 
and I wanted to go through and start correcting them all. I mentally was going through and proofreading it as I was reading the story, like fixing it in my head. Some of it could be like a cultural thing. Montana doesn't necessarily talk the same as Ohio. In fact, all of Ohio doesn't talk the same. But some of it, like this this double line thing, we're just like, why is this a thing? That's just bad writing. Why would you do that? So the writing of this ended up giving it two stars. On the other hand, the writing wasn't so bad that I couldn't keep reading. And at some, some points, the bad writing actually cracked me up. So I did finish it. It helped that it was a novella, though, and it wasn't in it for an entire book. On the whole, this is a two-star read. It's an okay Christmas story. It is definitely not one of my favorites. It's not one I'm going to go reread anytime soon. And as for recommending it, it's really up to you guys. It's, I'm not pushing this story at all. Um, <laughs> if you don't want to read it, that's I totally accept that. Oh, yeah. Also, this novella was originally published in the book Holiday Magic which is a collection of short stories and novellas by a bunch of authors. And it's Holiday Magic by Fern Michaels, if you want to look that up for like the big collection. So peace out. I love you guys. Keep reading and happy holidays. Bye.